boy, I got a big one here. This is a collector booster box of Outlaws of Thunder Junction, brand new, not even out yet, containing, indeed, Thunder Junction's Most Wanted. Let's crack all these open, I'll tell some stories, and mostly just wanna see the cool, shiny stuff we open up. Now, if you watched my uh, box opening, my Play Booster box opening already, then I'm sure you've seen um, me talk about a bunch of these cards already, but we'll no doubt open up a bunch of different rares and big cards. Um, and, you know, who knows what other fun stuff in these packs that uh, I'll be able to discuss. But mostly I just want to crack open the cards and see what gorgeousness we have. One of the things I love about collector boosters is you just crack them and it's just fun. Every pack is like, wow, I got that, I got that. A lot of cool stuff. So here we go. First collector booster I have ever opened for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Let's hop right into it. So shiny. Here we go. Let's see what we get. I was missing my um, Spire Bluff Canal in my box. That was like the one fast line I didn't get, so I'm kind of hoping for a cool one here, but there's a lot, a lot of stuff to get here. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. All right. Ooh, a foil treasure token. So uh, we'll start with that. Double-sided nonetheless, meteorite on the other side. Well, here's a good start. It is a borderless botanical sanctum. So that's stunning. That'll go right into, right into deck. These fast lines are so great. Endless Detour, here's the um, <clears throat> the uh, Prosperity Post news card. Tower Wonders, here's, here's the Commander card slot. So this is a card from the Commander decks. When I go through all the Commander decks in a video, which I think I'm gonna do, um, I'll tell some stories, but this is a very unusual card in that it references a specific land, but basically every Commander deck plays this land, so we thought it would be interesting to give a try. And uh, it, it's, a, it's literally a Rattlesnake card. So in Commander, Rattlesnake cards are cards that um, make your opponent not want to attack you. And hey, it's got Death Touch, so I like that the snake is literally a rattlesnake. But yeah, this card is nice. Getting it from the graveyard is a nice touch too, so. Um. Wow, second Botanical Sanctum. All right, so botanical. Here's Magda, the Horde Master. Um, she likes committing crimes and then makes dragons. This makes a scorpion dragon in particular, which uh, is pretty brutal. But uh, yeah, fresh off of Kaldheim. Ooh, a foil one of these, Terminal Agony. Got a little madness on there. Skewer the Critics, another one of these. I love this bonus sheet so much. A foil, one of these lands. It's got the island right there, so that's cool. Congregation Griff. There's some uncommons right here, some normie uncommons. Some commons in the back. All right, so. I have not opened one of these yet. I guess the rares are in the front. It's one of, one of those one of those booster packs. But still, foil uh, borderless botanical sanctum, pretty sweet. I wonder if I should like uh, reorder the pack. You know, so, so we got to keep the tension of the rare one at one at a time. Maybe I'll just go from the back to the front. Find a way to do that. It just makes it more fun, right? If you're watching out there, I'm sure you'll agree. Having the, I guess there's a lot of rares in these packs, but having you know the end of the pack be. The thrilling. All right, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna try and see what happens. So I'm just gonna take all these and go like this. All right, I think this should work. Boom. All right, we got commons at the front now. Look at my technology. All right, commons at the front. Very cool. Ooh, foil Doc Orlock. This card was fun. We're building around some decks. You, you can like make your flashback cards cost two less with this, by the way. So you know, a lot of clever stuff to be done here. There's that foily swamp with the skull right there. Oh, this foil looks so good on these. Journey to Nowhere is my Prosperity Post. And a foil Journey to Nowhere. If you're going nowhere, here's something for you. Calamity. Yeah, this is, you get to basically uh, copy something that's riding it twice, so that's cool. Hey, there's my Spire Bluff Canal we got there. Here's a borderless one. So really loading up on these fast lands. Rockin'. Here's another commander deck card. It gives your next instant or sorcery storm, um, which uh, I'm sure nothing could go wrong with this. I remember when it was pitched, I was like, this is gonna have to be pricey. Um, and yeah, five mana, it is expensive, but you can set up some pretty cool stuff. Uh, you do have to cast it, but you don't have to have paid its mana costs. So uh, you can do some clever things, even get granting this like foretell or, you know, um, plot or what have you. Here's a decimate. I'm responsible for pitching that we do reminder text starting in MCAM, and I'm so glad that we did because you need a target for all of Decimate's things. You can't cast without all these things on the battlefield, so I'm glad we got the reminder text on there. 
Foil Void Slime. Very cool. And then this Mercenary at the back. Mercenary slash Human Rope. Void Slime is a card that's always captured my imagination. I, uh, I loved that card when it showed up all the way back in Dissension. And um, it was a big deal back then. There's all the talks about the fun things you could counter, because at that point it's basically just Stifle. I think it was Stifle was the only thing that could counter activate or trigger abilities. And so um, when Void Slime could do it, that was really mind blowing. I've seen it a few more times since then for sure, but you never forget your Void Slime, you know? Stifle, I remember when that came out though, that was also like, what is going on? All right, we're gonna go like this. Hopefully no one out there is cringing as I'm doing this, just taking a bunch of unsleeved cards and maybe everyone's cringing, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, I'm why they're cringing. You let me know in the comments down below. All right, we're going through this here. Got through our commons and uncommons. These are pretty, like, I love this Lush Oasis in foil. Such a pretty foil there. But I know you're not here for these commons and uncommons. You want to see what the rest is. So here's this forest. Yep. Tyrant Scorn, sure. Reprint. Foil Murder. Get them. I just, look at how cool those foils are. Those are red. Ooh, nice. Foil Mythic Rare Veraska. That is pretty cool. You get to bring their stuff back as uh, treasures. Look forward to seeing what kind of wacky deck folks build with this. Here's the Sting Back Terror in uh, Extended Art. Stinger Back Terror. Great Waters Fixer. This is from the Commander decks, from the Outlaw deck. Gives all your stuff Encore X. Cool, cool design there. Corey made that. Reanimate, nice. That's certainly a crime, bringing stuff back from the graveyard. You target your own graveyard a lot, so it's not always a crime, but it can be when you target theirs. Play it, of course, all over the place. Foil Archmage's Newt. I t talked about this the other day, but uh, two mana, two, two, in blue, wild. And then I wear our Mercenary uh, sp and Spirit token right there. All right, on to the next boosty here. So love you to get some cards from the big score. There's like these textured foils and raised raised foils. Love to try and see if I can crack some of those. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got a close call. Almost spoiled myself there. Good thing the mercenary blocked what was going on. All right. Oasis Gardener. Yep, here are all the commons. Ooh, the boots. I think these boots are going to be pretty commander playable. I mean, they're no Swift Food or um, or uh, Lightning Greaves, but you know, let's get the job done. Bovine Intervention, another card I could see playing. There's the Plains, gorgeous. All right, Fling, a classic. Hypothesizzle. Ooh, here's a big card in foil. I opened this in my box too, but um, yeah, this is a wacky one, giving you three different token types. Um, that you don't really see a lot of in the set, but blood, clue, or food. And then you tutor stuff up. That is cool. And foil, too. Yeah, you really want to get three different artifact tokens. This is where your commander deck is making a bunch of different artifact tokens, and then you can uh, tutor up any artifact you want. It's pretty strong. Here's Bonnie Pal with the uh, extended art right there. Dune Chanter, here's a card from the Commander deck. Makes everything deserts. Um, they're all deserts. And fixes your mana, too. Good, uh, good for season tomorrow or something, perhaps. Oops. Skullcrack. I'm responsible, I think I made a, a short about this, but I'm responsible for the damage yet be prevented this turn because I kept building Turbo Fog on this card. Um, whoops. That's me, Turbo Fog Enjoyer. Ooh, now we're talking, that's nice. Foil, Borderless, Jace Reawakened. Whew. That is gorgeous, check that out. Wow, that is some pretty, that is a pretty piece of cardboard right there. Can't wait to put that in a deck. Woo, that is nice. I, that's what I love about collector boosters, just like, I don't know what pretty things I'm gonna get this pack, but Let's see what we got. It's a little smorgasbord of everything, you know? Getting that foil borderless chase at the back. Not too shabby. All right. Coming out of the pack. Got to flip over them all around. This, it's good for the drama, you know? You got to love the drama. All right. Reach for the sky. All right, here's all our comments uncommons for a vial smasher. There's our swamp. The essence capture. Hindering Light. Ooh, Foil Combo. 
So when your opponents make tokens, you get some of their tokens, which is uh, well, it's good. sharing is caring. You know, a lot of tokens going around in Commander. So this guy's got a lot of value to be made. High Noon. Nice way to stop off Stormy-style stuff or just deal some damage. This is a, a funky card from the Commander deck that Corey made. I, l I love when you get to, get to revisit old mechanics. It says Retrace. So that's a fun one to bring back here. Pariah. Quite an old... Uh, Quite an old card brought back, but on your creature sometimes, on their creatures other times. Free Strider Lookout as our foil here. Wants you to commit crimes. Green card telling you to commit crimes? It's true. There it is. Get lands when you commit crimes. Perfect. Okay. Keep on trucking through these. This is going way faster than my other box opening. We're like halfway through. So one thing I do when I... Um, do these box openings is um, about halfway through I try and give a code word so those who are like watching and made it this far and aren't just skimming around the video you can post the code word in the comments you can disguise it, you can hide it, you can dress it up however you want <clears throat> and um, the code word what should the code word be for this one? let's um, let's make the code word elk you can get, get elk somewhere in your comment I'll know that you made it this far, nestle it in there, whatever, and then I'll know you've been watching the whole video and just skip around to the end. Let's say elk. I don't know why I'm feeling elk. It's a blame Oko. He, the guy always makes me think about the elks. There's this forest and foil. Hindering lights. So many hindering lights. Fierce Retribution. Oh, it's a tumble wag. It's our new brush wag. Oh, I love that. Saddle. Saddle it up. <clears throat> Gets counters. Ooh, this is really stunning. Right, this is a Richard Kane Ferguson piece of art in uh, extended art. I love seeing that. That is awesome. So happy we got RKF to do some pieces for us. Here's a card from the Commander decks. It's kind of wacky. You get to exile spells under this, and then um, you can cast them. Cast them later on. Kind of a cool extended art one to get. Mind Slaver, a classic. I've played this card so much. Talarian, um, Talarian Ruins. Yeah, Cat or Cabby Ruins, I should say. Combo with this, play that in a little extended. Ah, but that story's for another time. Oh, it's Vadmir. Hey, Vadmir. Little foily uh, crime guy. All right, and through the Mercenary and the Gnome we go. On to the next booster. Okay, I'd love to see some, yeah, some. also the Wanted poster cards are really cool. Love to open up some of those. See what uh, see what's hiding in these packs. All right, flip these all around. I really enjoy seeing the big cards too, the big big score cards. Right, if you don't know the story, <clears throat> we kind of made an epilogue like March the Machine aftermath for this set, and then we kind of decided not to release it after seeing how uh, that set did and rolled it in here. And those are all the big score cards. So when you see a card that says big in the bottom left hand corner, those are like a special. Some special sheet right there. I'll show up sometimes. Ooh, foil inspiring vantage. That's cool. All these lands see so much play, I'm happy to have them. Ooh, Wily Duke and Extended Art. <clears throat> That's great. Here's a charred gray brover from the Commander decks. It's got escape, so it's pretty good for, you know, an outlaw that's escaping. Contagion Engine, nice reprint. Puts a counter on your opponent's creatures, lets you proliferate. Uh, this targets uh, targets a player, but you get to proliferate everyone's stuff, so your stuff, their stuff. Yeah, this card is grand. Ooh, and this is a nice foil too. Kill something off, put it in your cube. Get that treasure in Zombie Rogue. Very cool. All right. Keep moving through these packs. Coming up next. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta flip it. I think um, the order that the stuff shows up sometimes depends on where it's printed in. Different facilities print it in different ways. So I don't know if all the collector boosters are like this or not, but I just like making it a little more dramatic as I'm opening them. All right, there's a murder. There's a tornado. Claim Jumper, yeah, this card can double ramp you, which is great. Smuggler's Surprise. This is a fun one. It's a spree 
Uh, extended art card. Let's you cheat some creatures into play, and helps you find creatures too out of your graveyard. Oh, I like how the art really goes, like the way it looks, the way it ends up going to the edges here, it just looks really good. I dig it. Oh, here's a borderless version of the uh, face card from the commander decks. That's cool. <clears throat> I guess the ones in the commander decks also kind of look like this, but regardless, still cool to get Yuma here. Face card for the lands deck. Collective Defiance, nice. That an Escalate card. Fits with the spree vibes of the set. Deal four damage to people. Ooh, a Foil Primal Command. Very cool. Played a lot of this card as well. Perennial, uh, perennial cube card. And played in Commander. I played in Standard back in the day because I'm a dinosaur. All right. On to the next, on to the next pick. All right. Only a uh, only a couple packs left after this one. We're getting down, getting down there. Hoping I can find uh, my big, more more big stuff. All right, there's a mountain. Back for more. Repulse, a classic. And that, that's a gorgeous art piece in foil, too. I love that. Ooh, speaking of, here's a foil big card. This World Walker Helm. Oh, man, that's rad. You have to make the map tokens. And then you get to create tokens to copy of them. And whenever you do, you make another map. This card is great. Oh, that is cool. That is very exciting open. Oh, loot! Another big card. He's always hiding in the vault. Look at him. He's so cute. And there's Jason Vraska, too. Very, very cool. That looks rad. Oh, here's a, a commander from a, well, the back of commander for the blue red deck. And foil. Vanishing verse. As this card, a foil siphon insight, a crime indeed. That pack was very exciting. Okay, so three packs left. This is third pack from the last right here. All right, so I got some more big stuff. I got a foil big card, so that's that makes me happy. Now a wanted poster card would be great. Well, there's a little tear thing on the side. I was doing this wrong the whole time. Wow. You can play this game for so long, and I'm still learning how to open up booster packs. Did you all know there was a tear strip there? Were you noticing that the whole time and just making fun of me in the comments? Brutal. Absolutely brutal. All right. Here we go. Here's our commons. We'll skip on past here. Ooh, foil shoot the sheriff, though. I was, like, pulling out, you know, the ones that put in some decks. I think this card might be nice, too. Five mana reanimate plus get something else back. All right. Here's a ride down. Skewer the critics. Ooh, foil skewer the critics. Nice. Ariette is here, yes. Foil rare. Care about auras. Nice, hey, I asked for it and there it is. Here's a wanted poster for Kellen. I love this wanted poster look. It's just it just looks so cool. I wanna hang these up in my room, you know? Or at least in my in my office. Yeah. Very nice. Just the mana cost is right down here. You have the text big up front really plays with the frame in a satisfying way. I wouldn't want a ton of cards to look like this, but for the main, from the main gang, yeah, that's rad. Ooh, Dead Before Sunrise. Fun fact, this card was called, um, I think, Duel at High Moon for a while, because of the moon. I thought the high moon joke was pretty funny, but uh, it did confuse a lot of people who thought that we typoed. So, indeed, Dead Before Sunrise. Villainous Wealth, a great reprint from, uh, that really fits the, um, the sheet nicely. Also, a uh, really iconic card for the commander deck, too, right? The Salt Eye Stealing commander deck. And a ooh, foil combal in extended art at the end. Very nice. All right, two packs remaining. Well, we got, my, we got our wanted poster. And I guess more big stuff, more wanted poster stuff. Now, no, the last stuff I've asked for, I've gotten, so. 
Maybe, uh, maybe. I mean, a, a texture foil is a little bit to ask for, but uh, let's see what we get. All right, go past these guys. Repulse again. Fling again. High noon. Whoa, yes. Oh, awesome. Here's a Toru in this, um, in this uh, wanna poster. I got two wanna posters now. Happy boy over here. Oh, that's so good. Oh, these bond posters look so cool. Here's this angel from Commander that brings back small stuff. Then Encores bring back a bunch of small stuff. Nice. Ionize. Ooh, and a foil Silvala. All right, very cool. Well, that is almost the end. I got this one pack left. This box is done. Set that over to the side. Got a pile of booster packs right next to me that I've been uh, all open. The carcasses. Oh wait, hold on. Let me go to the tear strip. Just been here the whole time. Oh my gosh. Did you all know that? If not, you're welcome. You can start doing that yourselves. If yes, I'm sorry I embarrassed all of you. All right. I work in making the cards, not uh, not making how the packs look apparently. Okay. Humiliates. That's how I feel when I didn't know about the tear strip. Back for more. Bonnie Powell clear cutter. Yeah, one of those guys. Ooh, a cool steed. It's a nice one. Unicorn mount. Oh, this card's gas from the commander decks. You exile all creatures, then you get to play them for as long as they remain exiled. So cool. And the extended art, too. Commandeer, not to be confused with commander, two different things. Steal their spells. Watch out in this format. You never know when someone might commandeer your spell. And then, ooh, at the very end, this foil, generous plunderer. That is a really cool looking foil. Check that out. That is awesome. Well, that wraps up looking through a collector booster box of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Thanks for following along, and I hope your trip in the vault finds you exactly what, what you're looking for. Until next time, have fun with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Get ready for the pre-release. I'll be back on Wednesday with my pre-release primer, where I talk through how to build a pre-release deck and show you what's inside. So I'll talk with you again then. Until then, remember, you got this.